Hey Capricorn, welcome to Ocean's Tarot Garden. We're going to see what messages we have here for you today by Spirit. Okay. So we do have rose quartz popping out here. So there is some love, self-love, or just feeling um, in a loving spirit. You could be doing your love affirmations here. All right, Capricorn. So we're not going to be here for a long time. But with this reading here, we do have the Nine of Cups with the Hermit card, Page of Cups to the Knight of Wands. As you can see, Cups is what's mainly taking over here. So I would say that you might be feeling some kind of emotions or emotion, emotional connections could be coming in here as well. We do have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. All right, so we're gonna see what, what happens here. Okay, what's created, what's put here. All right, so I do feel like there could be like a challenge. Um, not necessarily a challenge, but something can be overcome here. So with this nine of cups, I do feel like you could be feeling very, very happy and enjoying everything that's going on in life, okay? You could be accepting all this great blessings that's flowing to you, Capricorn. You could be feeling great, vibrant, uh, loving the energy for you guys that I'm feeling here, wish fulfillment, things are working out, overflow of joy, and a, like joy, happiness, abundance, peace, and all that great stuff. You're finally taking yourself and stepping to the forefront. You're not accepting anything less than you deserve. Like all that great stuff there is right here in this Nine of Cups. With this Nine of Cups sitting next to this Hermit card, there's something about this house here that just makes me feel like I got everything in my life, but I still feel alone or this house is missing something on the inside, okay? So some of you guys could be feeling like you are missing a new place to live, like you're wanting a new home, new energy. You could be feeling like you're missing a divine partner to be sharing this space with. This house could also represent your heart. You could be longing for some kind of connection, some kind of partnership with somebody, Um as well. So I do feel like it, it gives a sense of loneliness or a sense of you needing to move into your own space and make it to how you desire it to be because you could be living with somebody and you really don't have your full potential or your full energy in there. You can't do the things that you want to. So it might be keeping you back from being your full self or displaying your full creativity. It also could be holding you back from a lot of things here because you're in somebody else's uh like their main their kingdom basically you're in somebody else's kingdom you're in somebody else's forefront so their energy their dominance and whatever it is that they're desiring in life or whatever it is that they're not desiring in life is taking over that home front so it could be blocking what you're wanting right now so this could be the time this could be the cards that's telling you that it's time for you to go ahead and move into your own space okay or to change the living arrangements of your home which means changing the feng shui moving things around cleaning windows deep cleaning spring cleaning and all those other things and getting ready for things to grow all right <clears throat> now we do have this page of cups here as i was speaking of you guys could be feeling lonely or wanting something doesn't necessarily have to be focused on love here okay but you do have the page of cups which is water in earth so you could be attracting a water sign or like i said you could just be feeling some kind of great attraction towards something or somebody here with the knight of wands there's some exploring here so you guys could be feeling like you want to explore some kind of uh new idea new inspiration new tactic here uh, also, like I said, back here with the Hermit cards, you guys could be coming out of your shell. You could be getting ready to start doing more, going out more, uh, seeking more. Uh, there could be love here as well. So somebody could be coming towards you. They could be taking their time and trying to figure out if this is something that they want with you. 
Um, it might be kind of a challenge. This person could be kind of like a cat. One moment they want to purr up under you and make biscuits. And then the next minute they're kind of catty and they want their space. So be mindful of that as well. But I do see you guys finding a new attraction and a new focus during this time. So this could be with, you know, uh, like I said, business, career, whatever, or focusing on building a home, creating a home, creating relationships or finding love, whatever it is. But you guys are going into a real focused energy here, Capricorn, of desiring. Um, I also feel like you guys are going to be celebrating. Somebody is really celebrating getting a home here, um, filling a, a home up with love. I'm I'm hearing peace and generosity as well. But something is sticking out to me with this Knight of Wands. Okay, so. Mm. Yeah, somebody is discovering a new passion for something. Or you could be asked to be part of a new project, Capricorn. And you can be gaining a new passion for it, I would like to say. Okay, you have the Four of Wands. Yeah. That's just clarifying once again your desires uh, of building this home up. The challenges that you've had with... Uh, I feel like you've been having a lot of challenges with home, okay, in your environment. Or you're you're not aware that the energy within the environment that you're living in could be causing some blockages here. So you guys are really needing to get back to the drawing board and really focus and tap into some energy of inspiration Finding that uh, motivation again, um, stop blaming everything and everybody else and get focused and go towards it. Okay, this is a calling for you guys to get going. Okay, somebody could be signing. I feel like with this four of wands underneath this nine of cups and the hermit, somebody's going to be signing some kind of lease or contract with a home here. Um, somebody could be moving into a home or somebody could be coming in and building in a relationship. They could be finally uh, confirming a relationship with another person. This could be marriage as well. Somebody getting married, like a small gathering is what it's, get, it's telling, like a small gathering wedding. Uh, somebody also is only allowing certain people into their home. I'm hearing take your shoes off, dust your feet off um, because you're leaving that outside energy uh, you're not allowing people to track some kind of outside energy or dirt into it. Somebody's going to be surrounded by a lot of trees or nature. Okay, somebody also wants to have space for a garden. Somebody wants to grow their own fruits or own foods here, vegetables. Um, we do have the challenge, though, of you guys remaining focused on it or i feel like this is going to be a fixer upper you might be getting a deal there could be somebody here who is looking to go into um what's the word looking to go into a I can't think of the word right now i'm drawing a blank but you're purchasing house real estate looking to go into real estate so some of you guys are really needing to focus or this is just something new that you're picking up so you could be trying to learn this by watching youtube videos or just studying other people, reading books on how to fix homes and upgrade homes. So some of you guys could be getting ready to design a home or um, look to remodel a home as well. Or It's just like you could be getting a house at a low price and you're going to have to fix it up as well. And we do have this star card here with this page of cups with the Knight of Wands. Um, Somebody is just remaining hopeful on a relationship here. There's also somebody who is just now getting really focused on a cosmic journey. Uh, could be trying to learn astrology or getting tapping into spirituality here. All right. So they're looking to learn, looking for somebody to pour into them or to give them a lot of knowledge. Or you could be looking for somebody to teach you this could be like you trying to find a community here with the hermit the page of cups you could just be re really just getting focused in on something and wanting to learn and you're trying to get somebody to teach you a lot okay um yeah with this eight of cups a lot of you guys are just uh ready for something new here oh yeah okay i get it we got the empress here as well with the hair with the hair fence so yeah 
somebody is definitely looking for some kind of leadership or some kind of um yeah i'm gonna say leadership somebody to come in and teach them and help them and grow all right so there could also be a woman here that's coming in for a capricorn male or a capricorn male can be attracted to an empress here somebody who motivates you somebody who is able to make something happen somebody who speaks affirmations into you somebody who allows you to um i guess like uplift you kind of like a backbone energy and then it's just like in return they're hoping to learn from you or there's some kind of partnership here where y'all give to one another to make things grow so yeah somebody needs to seek out help as well um, so that they can realize that they don't have to do it on their own. It seems like it's very big on networking and communication and building with individuals here. All right. But yeah, something is also telling me like somebody's getting outside of the box here and it gets me back to that garden for Capricorn. So it's like, you guys are going to start trying to grow your own stuff because yeah, like you don't want the stress of what's about to come with the economy. You want to live a healthier lifestyle and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I also feel that for you guys. You're definitely looking into changing your eating habits. You're definitely learning. You're wanting to start your own garden. You're wanting your own place of living. You're seeking relationships. You're seeking more knowledge. Um, basically, it's just telling you to get motivated and to you need to be into your own space if you aren't in your own space, Capricorn. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Three of Wands is telling you to stop being stagnant and go ahead and start making those moves. Go, for, go towards these things that you desire in life. All right, much love.